Warning, the following presentation will contain graphic scenes of violence, harsh language, and all the other good stuff the internet has to offer. Enjoy! I mean warning! And hello, hello everybody, hashtag CJ McKay here, and welcome to the second installment for my Resident Evil Let's Play series. I'm very excited to kill some slow shambling corpses. I hope everyone's as excited as I am for this episode. Um, it's also the week of the living dead here in the Dragon Project, so I thought I'd finish it off with kind of one of my main features, which happens to be a zombie game. Let's get straight into the action, shall we? Fight your fears and survive. I like that they give you a little tagline after the loading screen. And hello everyone and welcome into the episode now. Um, I'm just in the main hall, this is where I saved it off last time. You might be noticing that the emblem was back there in the wall and the jewel was back in the ground. That's because um, I've kind of replayed over a minor bit. And I say I was full on inventory last time and I don't know where any of the supply boxes are. And yeah, it was a mess and a nightmare. So I left that shit in the ground back there, and I can go back for it when I need to. And I'm gonna go pick up the herbs and ammo that I couldn't pick up that I desperately needed last time. So yeah, just just filling everyone in on that. And um, just as well, there might be one or two zombies I killed in the last video back now, which will be a bit of a surprise for me because I'm I, I tried to get them all, but I might not have. So if there's or if even then, this mansion's full of zombies. So yeah, um, I mentioned earlier, it's the week of the living dead here on the channel. I'm just picking up all these herbs, so I'll go over exactly what that's about. Um, the week of the living dead here on the channel is kind of a harken back to my first ever channel event. I did a zombie month last October, so I kind of I wanted to do a minor event this this we um, week and just kind of kick off May with, I don't know, just some gaming, nothing else. Um, I may be doing some non-gaming related stuff that's zombie-ish tomorrow, but it kind of comes down to whether or not that goes well. So, I won't talk any more about that, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna try to do it some other time. Um, ooh, I don't think I got this stuff last time. Didn't realise this herb was here. I kind of wish that, that, since this is the high def res, they had it would have added, like, a little scene to it where he maybe he cuts the hair with his knife. That would have been cool. And, uh, yeah, I think I missed this room last time, so let's find out what's in here. Ooh, guy in armor. Can I stab him? Yeah, nah, nothing happens. Didn't think it would. Okay, now that guy has a spiky shield. Why do I feel like this is going to be aw an awful trap? Yeah, I'm going to get killed by spikes. I know what, there's rails on the ground. I'm waiting for it. I'm going to pick up this key now. Whoever, may whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. Yeah, those spikes are about to come and just... Oof, I don't like this. Maybe if I stand here. Whoever takes... Oh, wait, am I full because of herbs? I'm full because of goddamn herbs. I kind of hate that about this game a little bit. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go kill some zombies and then when I'm low on health again, I'll come back here for the key and it'll be all super fantastic. And of course, there's a goddamn... I'll see you in a second when I find some zombies. Oh, there's one. Oh, you're gonna die, fat man zombie. Now, I killed this guy last time. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Run back, run back, and stab. Oh, shit, I missed again. Come on. Come on! God damn it, run, and back, and... See, I'm, I'm figuring I can kind of juke the zombies now if I just do it right, if I kind of stab and run back and stab and run back. Yeah, yeah, he's not... Oh, wait, but the whole point is... Oh, yeah, I was about... To... I realised the whole point. Oh, shit, no, don't use my... That's my good grapple knife! Oh, I realised the whole point was I'm trying to get damaged so I can use health. And I killed that zombie flawlessly, but still. Ooh, there's more ammo here that I can't get. Um, any more zombies? Here, zombie, zombie, zombie. Ooh, I unlocked the door. Did I get that key? No, I mustn't have. I just, I just unlocked this. Maybe it was locked from the other side, from this side most likely, had a little latch on it. Yeah, I'm in the main hall. There's a zombie here. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, where is it? Where is it? I hear- Oh shit! Ah, fuck! Oh, no! Ah, oh, lightning. Oh god, that, yeah, that, that, that was freaky, I have to say. Oh my god, it's got another bite on me. Shit. Oh. Oh, it's down. It, it, stab it on the floor. Come on. Come on. One more for good measure. No! No! I thought I could get one more in for good measure before it got the extra bite on me. Fucking zombie. Die, you jag off. Ugh. And... Ah! No! No! Ugh. And run. Oh no! Ah, why am I so bad at this? Ah, stop biting me! Oh, it's... I'm fucking dead! 
God damn it! <sighs> Fix this white walker. Hey everyone, while I'm dead, I'll show you this. Come out back into off face cam. Look, I got a white walker. I put it up for, for we could live and dead. Because I like Game of Thrones. And here we are back in, everybody. I like how it came up at the start, fight your fears and survive when I loaded this time. So they changed the little slogan at the start of each load. I like that. Um, so yeah, this time I was smart about it. And um, I didn't pick up so many herbs that I couldn't carry them. So I'm going to... Oh, I got a mansion key. Yeah, and here come the spikes. Here come the spikes. To, now I... Oh, shit! What? Oh, I thought if I stood here, it'd be safe. Oh fuck. Oh what? What? Oh that's terrifying! Oh my god, that's terrifying! And this. Put the key back! Put the key back! Oh shit, what do I do? What the fuck? It's coming for me! Oh! Oh! Oh, can I just. Oh, what the fuck is this? No! Oh no! I thought if I stood the walls closed. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can move this box. Um, I've died twice now, but if I move this box, maybe I can... Yes, I'm gonna get a key from the statue lady, and then that other key with the spikes and the scary men couldn't go fuck itself. That was horrifying. I'm... I don't know if there's actually a way out of that horrible spike place. I assumed if I stayed at the side, the two rails would meet, crush together in like an instant. And then I'd be okay, you know? But no, apparently not. Apparently, it the walls close in on me and it's complete... Ugh. So I'm gonna go use this key. That's what I'm gonna go do. <laughs> oh, fuck this. I found some sort of spooky door behind the painting. I don't think that what used to be there. I'm outside now. There were... I don't think this was in the original Resident Evil. What is this horror? Right, that's locked from the other side. I'm in a graveyard. I don't remember this from the old game. I don't think I ever found this, or maybe it wasn't in it. That's a cupid with a bow. I found an arrow in another place that... Oh, I'm gonna go get that arrow, and then I've done one of the res puzzles. Oh, yeah, I, th I think this is, might be new stuff, because I don't remember this or the area that the arrow was in. Maybe I was just... Never found them as a kid, because I was stupid. Is that, like, a big box of awesome ammo? Shotgun shells. I'm not going to take it now, because I haven't got a shotgun. But I just found fucking shotgun shells. <laughs> yeah! Okay, before I go get that arrow and find, uh, do the puzzle, I'm thinking I'm going to make that the end of the video. I got a key... So I'm going to find out what, what's behind this door, and then I'm going to go get the arrow and die. I'm, I'm very happy that this, um, oh, maybe, wrong door maybe, maybe it's going to cross for me. Yeah, I'm really, I, I have to say, I'm incredibly happy that I get to solve a puzzle for this uh, video, because, you know, Resident Evil's puzzles are kind of what make this game for me. Neither of these doors. Okay, maybe it's the other one over here. I'm... <gasps> Yeah, and um, also I've been play doing like a zombie series on Left 4 Dead the last while. What the shit here is going on? I got a key and... Give me a look at my inventory. Okay, so I was walking around for a while with that key, trying doors, and it doesn't seem to open a single goddamn door in this entire mansion. It's very frustrating. But, on I go, I'm gonna go get that arrow solve a puzzle. Yeah, as I was saying before, I started looking at my inventory and looking for doors really, really angrily. Um, I was, I've been talking recently about what defines a zombie in my Left 4 Dead series and one or two other things like that. And kind of, ultimately, I decided that the Resident Evil 1 zombies were my favourite zombies pretty much ever. Because they're the classic slow, shambling corpse zombies that I'm almost expecting to moan the word brains every five seconds. 
they're just uh, they're they're always like kind of they're what started my love hate relationship for zombies. I've said that before on the channel, and um, I stand by that statement. Like I love and hate zombies because of Resident Evil One, and um, I'm forever grateful to this game because of that fact. Um, yeah, no, there's some ammo there. Can I carry that, or do I need space for... No, I can carry the ammo. I can carry this ammo. I'll get this, and then I'll go get the arrow, and this is... this The, the shifting camera angles in this game's a little bit irritating. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been talking about what what kind of defines a zombie and the, the, for the last few weeks, and I've kind of settled on a, few, a couple of things. First of all, I think a zombie should never be intelligent. I don't think they should be able to use kind of forward thinking. I think they should be almost somewhat um, self-destructive in their want for killing or eating or whatever it is they want as a species or creature. I, I, I think that ultimately I've come the wrong way for the arrow. But I think ultimately a zombie should never be able to like use a weapon. It should be like maybe if a zombie dies and rigor mortis sets in and it's just swinging its arm and it's got like a billy club in its arm, fine. But I don't think a zombie should be able to, like, p see a gun and pick it up and shoot it. Or the same for a sword or a crowbar. I think that that requires too much thought for, like, what I, I consider to be an animal. Or at least to have, like, its mental state to be so animalistic that forward thought of that uh, capacity would be too much for it. Um, I also settled on the fact that... Oh, shit, get it off me, get it off me. Oh, yeah, yeah, just put a fucking... Knife to its temple. One big one just displayed right there is shoot it in the brain. If you shoot it in the, if you destroy its brain or shoot it in the head, and, you, and like that's how you kill a zombie. If it doesn't die that way, then I think you're dealing with something else. Like I think Res Five zombies, you could like clean blow their head off, and then they wouldn't die. Like a thing would pop out of them because it was like a parasite. They weren't zombies in Resident Evil Five. The Resident Evil as a game series has evolved so much. But I don't agree with that, really. I think it de-evolved. I think these days, Res 1 and Res 2, that was like it in its prime. Res 4 was good. Res 5 and 6 were heaping piles of steaming horse shit. And the Res 5 zombies could speak to one another. They could use bull horns. They had a hierarchy, so there were some zombies who were in charge of other zombies. And um, they could use weapons, so like they'd be like well equipped with like guns and riding around on motorbikes shooting at you. That's not a zombie. Just fuck you, Resident Evil Five. Six is a pile of shit too, but really, I'd rather rant about five because I spent money on uh, good money on five because it was supposed to be good. I mean, I knew Resident Evil 6 would be shit, because Res 5 was a piece of shit, but Res 4 was, like, kind of, I thought they were kind of be becoming good again. No. Yes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna solve a cute puzzle that I have never solved before in all my time playing Resident Evil. Come on. Right. Picture of an angel. There's an indentation of an arrowhead. Okay, I, I see there's an indentation of the arrowhead. Use the arrow. There we go. Okay, it won't fit in the indentation as is. Are you shitting me? Right, may I know what to do. Um, examine. Alright. And... Yeah! Yeah, I removed the arrowhead. Look at that. I, that's one of the big reasons I love Resident Evil, is you actually... You really have to think about these puzzles. You, you look at the item, you realise it can be... You know, altered in some way or combined with something else. I thought I was gonna go have to find the saw there, but no, no, it just it screwed right off. Nice. Okay, have I unlocked? Oh, I unlocked the scary tomb. Oh yeah. And um, other things I feel zombies. I'm gonna go in down in here. Maybe the video might end soon, depending on how spooky or awesome this is. I hear gears. I've been defining zombies as stupid. Um, bloodthirsty or ravenous, they kind of need to be animalistic and like hunt for non-zombie creatures. What is this place? It's got like a furnace. Is this like the place? I was gonna say, is this the place that powers the mansion? Uh, now I'm thinking it's the place Dracula is. But there's a thing here. A book is fitted perfectly into the indentation. Will you take the book of curses? Something's gonna pop out of that coffin. Yes, I will take the Book of Curses. Nothing popped out of the coffin. I'm gonna read the Book of Curses. Use. 
It's not necessary to use this now. Examine. Uh, the book's titled The Book of Curses. Oh, looks like it's got a key in the back. Yes! Oh, I got a fucking mansion key. Awesome! And the book is opened. Oh! <clears throat> the four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. <laughs> when all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Holy shit! I found the coffin where I put masks in a place and it awakens some sort of Dracula creature. Oh my god, right, I have a new quest in Resident Evil 1 and it's the fine quests to put on here. I am so ecstatically happy. Oh yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Let's go fucking... Now, I think, I think I've probably found everything there is to find down in this little crypt. I'm gonna go try find some other zombies or something like that. And then maybe I'll see... Whew. I know that wasn't a spectacular visual thing or anything, but like for me as a Res fan, that's one of the best puzzles I've ever fucking solved slash found. It's like I found the second puzzle as a result. And... Um, this, this thing over here... I'd like to be able to get into, but obviously I can't. Crumbling Tombstone. There's no name or inscription. This this game is so utterly terrifying, and I love it. <laughs> I'm going to go find some zombies and kill them and end off the video. See you in a second. Okay, that key I got unlocked the door behind the lady with the... That door just cracked. Or window. The lady with the thingy. The pot of gold statue. Pot of water. I'm, I'm scared now. I'm very, very scared because that window just cracked. I'm pretty sure in the res 1 that cr zombie crows can't come in that window at some stage. So I think you're starting to peck at the mansion. I could be looking at the first special infected soon. Oof. I don't like this. Oh, 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 there's an emblem on this door. The emblem's at the fireplace. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to finish the video. Oh, yeah. Right, that's how I'll be finishing the video officially. Until then, I'm going to do some other stuff and talk about zombies. And um, I also feel that a zombie, a zombie, I should say, um, an undead creature, should um, always, always, always um, only hunt by its senses. So, like, I think when they hear a scream or a gunshot or when they smell blood in the air... Um, that's when I think that a zomb that's how I think a zombie should hunt for its food. Um, I'm removing the plug in this bath. Let's hope nothing horrible and awful happens when I do. I have to say, for a high def game that's 40 gigs on my hard drive, this doesn't look as good as I thought it might. There was a zombie in the bath. Oh shit, what? Okay. I'm gonna fight this zombie. If it kills me, I'm gonna end up the video there, and if not, well then I'll do the emblem thing, and... Why isn't he fighting yet? Is that zombie vomiting acid? Oh, come on, Chris, do something, you useless piece of shit. Why are you standing there? You could have shot it four or five times by now. You could have shot it in the bath! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. And now it's biting me, of course it is, because Chris is a... Well, is he part of a special forces unit? <laughs> the most inept special forces unit I've ever... Stop getting bit in the neck! Guard your neck, you idiot! Wear armor! Fucking make armor with, like, cushions or something. Or duct tape. Look for useless, uh, useful items in this mansion instead of arrowheads for strange puzzles to Draculas. And I don't care if there's only it, which Dracula it is. I don't need to know which Dracula it is. Oh! Oh! I'm fucking... Zombies just feasting on me. Thank you everybody for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, it was primarily me getting killed, and before next time, what I will be doing is catching up on my progress and saving the game. I'll be starting off the next video with doing the emblem above the fireplace. And, um, yeah, tomorrow I've got some more zombie features coming up. Um, I'll hopefully have a special surprise for everyone. If not, it will just be my vlog and another zombie minigame of some sort. Thanks, everybody, and Slon Gafal.